Beautiful. And this week, we're in Mexico in the state of Chiapas with a group of people from the U.S. soy family. We're here for an aquaculture educational opportunity and really here to help show the soybean farmers in the U.S where their checkoff dollars are being invested, how they're being invested, and ultimately where a lot of their soybean meal ends up. Today we're at Regal Springs. We had the opportunity to go and see their hatchery, to see their grow out ponds in a lake, in a reservoir here in Chiapas, and now also seeing the processing plant. And it's just crucial to be able to see firsthand how relationships have been formed in international marketing programs where ultimately we're creating a preference and building demand for U.S. soy. Taking time off the farm, especially in the winter and coming down to Mexico, um, has been a great experience because I not only get to see and talk to the people who we're giving our USB checkoff dollars to, but to see it in action and um, how these fish grow and how useful U.S. soybean meal, especially in Mexico, is on these farms. And the research they're doing and how they put it in place has been truly amazing to watch because as an Iowa soybean farmer, I don't get to be around fish or fish farms hardly at all. So to see these different um, aspects of soybean use, especially in the fish farms, is really truly amazing. Aquaculture is the fastest growing utilization area for soy today and especially U.S. soy. And when we take a look at aquaculture and where we see opportunity and where we see growth potential, we see a lot of that opportunity being in Latin America. Latin America has a pretty good aquaculture industry to date, but it is, it's due for some huge growth. And with that growth will come a vast increase of use of U.S. soy and soybean meal and other various products because we've got great market share here in this region. Also finding out that this industry has grown by 10% pretty much all over the world. So there's a great advantage to getting into these markets and doing the research and expending the dollars to find out how we can increase our soybean export market that way too. It's a fact that in order for us as consumers around the world to be able to consume seafood the way that we want to and with our population growing the way that it's, pred it's predicted to grow, we have to have aquaculture and we have to have sustainable aquaculture in order to supply the world with the seafood demand that there is today and in the future.